Davy Crockett is a, is a cousin of mine, actually. And uh, we were at we were. Francis at, Scott Key is my great 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 grandfather. Uh, we were at a, there's a truck stop called the Davy Crockett Truck Stop in Eastern Tennessee. Do you remember this? I remember. And they have this placemat that they had at all their settings. And we went in and we sat down. And I don't know if I should really tell this story because you never know, man. Everybody may start recognizing me around the world. That'd be a drag, wouldn't it? It really would be a drag. Tell the story. Uh, and we sat down and we ordered breakfast and I noticed that everybody started looking at me. And then they'd look down at their placemat and they'd look at me. And I looked down, man, it was like somebody had drawn my picture on the placemat and it was supposed to be Davy Crockett. I don't know if that was just like luck. Well, you, you know, probably look like Davy Crockett. You're related to him. I feel like him. Have you ever killed a bear? No. Okay. But I've killed a lot of other things. <laughs> <laughs> killed a rabbit. <laughs> You're killing this piece, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the most touching things for me that's happened recently is that um, I got a letter from a missionary uh, in Peru. And he said that uh, he'd become a Christian at one of our concerts eight years ago in Florida and never had an opportunity to thank us. And he was thinking back about that concert and just wanted to write a little thank you note to me. And that was very, very important. I, not only did we have an opportunity to win people to Christ, but to know that he's out in the jungle in Peru winning other people to Christ, you know, it's kind of, you feel like it's an extension of your own ministry. And, and uh, that's a really good feeling. One more thing. Go ahead. Just one more thing. Yeah. No, Eddie! Oh, <laughs> gross. Big wet one, too. Been wanting to do that since the second grade. <laughs> <laughs>